Hello everyone, what's going on? And in this video I shall be showing you how to install vehicle mods and script mods uh, both add-on and replacement vehicles as well um, in this one video. So let's get right into it. Um, so there's a few things you'll need, to, well, there's one thing you'll need to start off with and that's OpenID. Uh, now I'll include a link to this in the description just to make it easy for you guys but yeah essentially you just want to download this after you've done so, open it up um, for the first time. Uh, select Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows. It should start up. It it'll come up with some setup things such as um, where you want to install it, the, uh, etc., etc. Uh, but then you'll then you'll end up here. And then um, after you've done that, you can close it or just keep it open even. Uh, but the the most crucial thing you want to do probably even before that is go into your GTA 5 folder now I don't exactly know where yours is you'll have to find it, it's wherever you install GTA 5 to you'll have to find that somewhere uh, and then you, you have to right click and then go to new and then folder and call it mods uh, I've already done this so um, yeah <laughs> Wait a second, and so yeah call it mods and yep when you're inside the file uh, well, inside the folder it should have nothing but what you want to do is just right click copy or control C and then paste it in your mods folder now this is um, quite a fair bit uh, it's, a, it's a pretty large file so unless you're using an SSD it can take up to about 10 minutes I think it is for that all to transfer but once that's done you're ready to get modding uh, so yeah open uh, open open IV and you should be greeted with a screen like this. Uh, now you'll want to install your car, m car mod or, or something. Uh, for the first first part, part of this I'm going to be doing an add-on. Um, so this is how you install an add-on. As you can see I want the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. So let's just install this. And there's the DLC right there. Uh, and here's the uh, installation instructions. Uh, so it's telling you to um, do that, all of that. Um, models from Asphalt, hey, interesting. So, yes, here's the car right here, SF90. That's the, that's the file. And now what you want to do is go into, go into OpenIV. Then you want to go to Mods, Update, X64, and then DLC packs, and in here should be all your DLC. Obviously, I've already installed a couple of mods, so there's some there. But then what you want to do is hit this edit mode button right up here, and then you press yes. And then what you want to do is simply drag this file into here, uh, and now that should be right there. Now what you want to do is go to update. Uh, we'll just go back to mods, and then update, and then update.rpf common, data, and there should be a list like this. What you want to do um, is go to the DLC list things and this should be where most of the most of the DLC is. So now what you want to do is... Alright so this is what I tend to do. I've got this um, the Porsche 918 Spider which I'll also link below in case you want to use this but you can use the readme file from this as a base for what to do with every other car mod. Um, so what you want to do first is just copy this right here and you want to paste that into the DLC list.xml file. So you press edit, go all the way down and press enter, paste that in and instead of 918 you want to replace that with whatever name the folder containing the DLC.rpf is. In my case it's SF90 so I'm going to rename this SF90. Then what you want to do is press save and then you go up here and there should be an extra title update data dot meta file. Now what you're going to do is right click edit and obviously scroll all the way down to the bottom press enter so you're on a new line and go back to the readme thing where it'll come up with this. Now I don't know if this is completely necessary but I like to do it anyway uh, just so it works with pretty much everything. So what you want to do, copy that, minimize that for now, and paste that line into here. 
and obviously you want to replace 918 with SF90 or whatever your car is and replace it here with SF90 or whatever your car is. Now that that's done, your car's been installed and to prove this works I will just launch up GTA then I'll show you the replacement and then I'll show you the script at the very end. So. Alright, here we are inside GTA 5. And I should explain, this is the Epic Games version of GTA 5. My previous video was a video explaining how to install um, Script Hook 5 for GTA 5 for Epic Games. So if you want to know how to do that, uh, there should be an iCard card in the top right. Uh, hit that and it'll take you to that video. But anyway, here we are. Um, I'm using a... a um, I just like having the snow on, it's nice. And of course I have quite a few car mods at the moment. I've replaced the standard car with an Audi A8, so that's pretty nice. But let's just see if this works. So what you want to do is just open your trainer, and you want to make sure you have a number lock on. Uh, you want to go to vehicles, vehicle spawner, enter name manually. Alright? And then obviously the name of the folder was SF90, so SF90. There's the SF90, right there. To show you, get in, oh, scissor doors, strange. Um, <laughs> it's not a very nice interior. This is an early version, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, here we go, the SF90, it's fully driving in that. And yeah, just, it works, which is really cool. SF90 and GTA 5. So, yeah, it, it, it definitely works. <laughs> um, you can get out, you can do everything. Yeah, you can just you can do everything with it. It's it's here, and it's very useful. Um, so now I'm going to show you the replacement method, which will allow you to pretty much replace stock cars that are in the game with modded cars. So you can you can see cars that you're modded in driving around the streets and that. So I shall get to that right now. All right. So now I'm going to show you method two on installing traffic cars in GTA 5, or just replacement vehicles. Sorry. Uh, so what you want to do is go to whatever website you want and find a traffic car. Now, or, or a replacement vehicle, sorry, I'm going to keep calling it traffic car. So just find a replacement vehicle, download it, and yes, uh, for this I shall be using a VW Touran, if I can find the file that I kept it in. Alright, here we are, here's the car, and as you can see it'll look different to the replacement. Um, there you go. It's completely different to the replacement. They have three or four uh, YT, YFT or YTD files, and they're just there. Now, this is a lot easier than the add-on method because what you can simply do is just go back to your open uh, open IV folder. Uh, you just uh, hang on. I'll go back to the main. You just go to mods, update, x64, DLC packs, and along here. There should be patch day 1, patch day 2, uh, etc. all the way up to the latest patch day. And these are basically where all of the cars for GTA 5 are stored. Now what you want to do is open one of them. Uh, say, you, it doesn't really matter which one you, you do this uh, with. Um, so let's just go 17 uh, and then you go DLC.RPF, X64, Levels, GTA 5, Vehicles.RPF and there should be a list of vehicles, that doesn't really matter. What you want to do, hit edit mode, simply go to your car that you want to put in, highlight all the three files, go to open IV, drag them in, your car is in the game. Now this replaces the ast the astro astrope or whatever it's called. So what you want to do, launch up GTA 5 and just see if it worked. Alright, so we're back again in GTA 5. Now go out here, and obviously you want to open your trainer. Uh, let's go down to vehicles, vehicle spawner, cars, or you could enter the name manually but I'm not exactly sure what car I replaced, I just know it's a sedan I'm pretty sure. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. Here it is, the Karen As Astero. Spawn it in, it's the VW Touran that we just installed just then and it's fully working, you can drive it around and, oh, okay pretty much flip it, sure 
And yeah, so hang on, I'll, yeah here's one that I've installed, this is a Bentley Ventega that I've installed and as you can see it spawns on the street and everything. So yeah, they're fully drivable and everything, NPCs can drive them, it's pretty cool. And it's a much easier method than the add-on method. So that's all pretty good. Now I'm going to demonstrate, oh there's a horror just there, I'm going to demonstrate now how to install scripts. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to install scripts. Now scripts are extremely easy to install. They're literally they're as easy as installing a trainer or script hook. What you want to do is download a script. Uh, for this example I'm going to be using single player garage. Uh, which I have already installed but this is a very easy method. So here it is, single player garage. What you want to do is read the readme text because this explains usually how to do it if it's not this method which it, it should be this method and if you don't already have a scripts folder in your GTA 5 directory then drag the whole folder over but if you do just go into here and then go into the scripts folder in your GTA thing and then drag these or how, whatever is in the is in that folder into your GTA uh, directory just here and that should literally be it. That is that is how easy it is just to install a script. And yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I'm trying my best to get back to everything, but in my previous video about installing script hook on the Epic Games version of GTA 5, I've received about 500 comments, and that's within two days, and that's way too much for me c to keep up with. So if I don't reply to your comment, I'm sorry. I'm being overloaded with comments at the moment so yeah it's been it's definitely been quite busy for my channel recently but I hope I've been able to help you and this video was purely just done out of the community because so many of you guys requested this so I'm here to deliver it and I hope this was really helpful and it shows that mods are actually very easy to install uh, one side note one small side note if you're running uh, mods on the Epic Games version of GTA 5, like I am, you will notice that you can only s install so many cars before the game won't actually launch, so it'll launch into a black screen and then just crash. Uh, for me, I can install about 40 cars before it does that. Uh, for you it might be different depending on the specs of your PC uh, and other things I'm not quite sure of. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you know about that, so don't come complaining to me if you say that you can't install a hundred mods, because you just can't, okay? Uh, unless you're on the Steam version, I'm pretty sure it's more stable there. So you can install as many as you want, but for the Epic Games version, you're limited for the time being until a proper script hook version comes out. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Please drop a like if you found this helpful, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video, so goodbye.